No, he's been a train. Oh, it's a train, is it? One six foot, 58 to 86 feet. Folks and welcome to today's vlog. It is another adventure day for me and Andy. Just hold on a second. Just got to make sure we can safety cross. We are off on an adventure. Going Anna's to for another lift. Yes, we're going to another lift. Anna is at uni for the day. Talking at mail talk. Yes, I'm talking. So me and Andy are here at Peterborough train station. We're about to jump on a train. We're heading over to Nottingham for the day. Andy has the whole day planned out. A day of trams and lifts and the Emmett clock which he really enjoys over in Nottingham. I'm a woman. But first he's getting very excited for the lifts and the trains here at the train station. Is it? Excellent stuff. And of course, if you are new to the channel this week with all our half-term shenanigans and adventures and you're enjoying what you're seeing, make sure you subscribe to the channel before you leave today. We make videos just like this all year round and it's not always just me and Andy. That's just this week while well, it's half-term, mainly because everyone else is busy, but there's another three plus a dog who are in all the other videos the rest of the year. So lots of reasons to hit that subscribe button before you disappear at the end of this video. Liverpool Ice Street. Where's the train going? Trains. Welcome at your board. This service to Liverpool Ice Street. Good. So welcome to East Village Street. East Village Street. <coughs> this service to Liverpool Ice Street. I know there's been a lot of what's in my camera bag stuff on YouTube recently. This is what's in my camera bag when I have to come out with Andy for the day. So, top package. These crisps. And then. We haven't got a plate, I'm sorry. And then down here we have Pop. DFS. Quickest what's in my camera bag on YouTube. Where are we now? To Grantham. Just coming into Grantham. So we're about to see your favourite church. Just from the train. We're about halfway there. Boston State, yes. Not at least York. And the uh, North East. If doing the train announcements manually was still a thing that people could do as a job, he would be all over that when he was older. When we were in Peterborough, he was reading it constantly. As soon as we start to pull into Grantham, he's reading the sign again, letting everyone know where they can change, which is very important information because it's just up there on the thing. It doesn't announce it. That's what Andy's for. Awesome skaters, lovely the the We're nearly there. The train always goes super slow into Nottingham. Yeah. And uh, all, it is, all it's doing is building up the excitement for Andy. You can see all these sights that he recognises. And he is just desperate to get off the train now. We are. It is going very slow, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, we're not getting off at Netherfield. No, no, Netherfield. We have arrived in Nottingham. Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Now we need to find our way over to the trams. He wasn't at all impressed that the platform lifts weren't working, but the one for the tram is working. So all is right in the world again. He gets to do a lift. Well, we've made it out to Andy's favourite stop at Highbury Vale. This is where the tram line split in two, so he gets to watch them going in two different directions. I have never been on such an empty tram as that one. There was only one other person on there apart from me and Andy. People of Nottingham, is it not half term here too? I can't believe. I mean, it's, what is it, 11 o'clock in the morning on a Thursday, 
I would expect there to be more than three people on the tram, it seems mad. What is also mad is I feel Ill, Ill again, I can't cope with trams. I get really travel sick when I'm a passenger in a car, but normally on anything else I'm fine. Trains, the Tube in London, the DLR, no problem any of those. I step foot on a tram and I immediately feel ill. It would be his absolute favourite thing and we've been on there probably about 20-25 minutes since leaving the train station and I feel like I'm ready to just... I'm glad I had a small breakfast. I'm letting Andy set the whole agenda today so he picked which trams we get on and off and where we go. That tram that just left, which I'm not even sure I filmed, there's a tram that just left which was the one we, we wanted to get to where he wants to go next but he wanted to film it and I thought ah that's fine there'll be another one along in a minute. It's eight minutes until the next one. I'm just standing around. It's not as busy on a Thursday as it is on a it is at the weekend when we come and do this. They're pretty much constant at the weekend. The birds. I can do the birds. What are we doing next? Go to Butler's Hill. For We're going to go to Butler's Hill for the level crossing. Excellent stuff. I don't think they have a double curtain there anymore, but we will certainly find out. If you don't know what a double curtain is, you should go back and watch some of our previous videos from when we were in Nottingham, because we didn't know either, but he did, and people in the comments told us and explained what was actually going on. The su it's very sunny, isn't it? It's a lovely day. It is, it feels like spring, certainly. And it's the middle of February, this is a lovely day. Yeah, again, I think this is like the fourth vlog this week, where I've not even worn a coat. I'm not cold at all, it's a lovely day. We are on the tram, on our way to our next stop. Yeah? Yeah. So we're back at one of Andy's favourite spots. Level crossing, where we have both trams and trains. He would stay here all day if we didn't put a limit on how many times we watch them go past. How many are we watching, Andy? Just two. We're watching two? Okay, Three. two sounds good. Of course the problem we've got, like we identified on the last platform, is even if we're only waiting for two, because there's, they're running so infrequently today, just waiting for two is like a 20 minute wait. Glad it's not raining for once. We've been stood here in the pouring rain many times before. It's yeah, it's not raining today, is it? Which is good. Stay behind the line, that's it. Is it going to be a tram or a train? A tram. A tram, okay. It's this side over there. It's going to be from that side, is it? No fucking warps. Tram. It's a tram, is it? From this way? Yeah. <gasps> no, he's been a train. Oh, it's a train, is it? 1658 to 860. Thank you! Double stay. A double stay. Up, 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 behind the line, Andy. So is this one going to be a tram or a train? Tram. This is a tram, is it? Do this. Uh, tram two, two nine. Ah. Excellent. There we go. And there we go. Does that count as our two? Yeah. <laughs> Are we going back to the tram now? Oh. No, we're crossing, aren't we? <laughs> it's not a double curtain anymore. No, it's not a double curtain anymore. Woo! We did our, our two stops, three things going past. I think that's fair. And now we're heading back into the centre of Nottingham, where we're going to grab some lunch, aren't we? And you want to go to Burger King? Yeah. You in said, a market square. Yeah, we can go to Burger King. He wants to go upstairs in Burger King, because he can watch the trams from up there. It's yeah. the only time he would ever choose Burger King over McDonald's. But he gets to go in a lift and he gets to sit upstairs and watch the trams. The one thing he's going to have to do that he doesn't normally have to do is wait with me while we order the food because he would normally go straight upstairs with Anna but he's going to have to wait in the queue in there. But we're going to head back over to there and then what are we doing after Burger King? Go to the Broadmarsh with three lifts. We're going to go Broadmarsh, three lifts and then are we going home? Oh no, we'll go to the Victoria Centre. Okay, what are we going to do in there? With the lifts colours. Ah, okay. Red, yellow and orange 
blue and then I'm a cockaboo for you at the back of the train. Excellent. Back of the lifts. Get out of the lifts, Otis. Yeah. And then back back of the trains. Yeah. Excellent. And so we go to the lift with Nottingham and then lift. In Peterborough for one video! Yes, it will be one video. We still have a lot no. to do today. We've no. got our train home is in about three and a half hours. We've got plenty of time, but if we miss that train, no. we miss Anna from uni no. and then she'll be very cross. Oh, that is a long tram journey from where we were all the way back to the centre of the city. It's taken us about 40 minutes, I think. Also, rather worryingly, they've got the big wheel here. He's not asked to go on it yet. Which is good. Well, we have to wait for the tram to go past. We'll wait for the tram and then we'll go to Burger King. He is very hungry, I think. That thing is terrifying. And I don't know how I'm going to get out of it if he decides he wants to go on it because he goes on it every year. Self-service machines in Burger King it means he's pretty happy. Having to wait here to collect it because there's no table service like in McDonald's. Less happy. This is why he chose Burger King over McDonald's. We can see the trams and the wheel from where we've just eaten. Couldn't film in this lift on the way up because I was carrying our food. I hate this lift. It doesn't have sides. The door is just a door. And you have to hold the button the whole time. Or else it stops. You have to keep holding, Andy. I hate this lift. Right, that's lunch eaten. A morning of trams complete. We've still got about two and a half hours until our train home. And Andy's afternoon that he's got planned is lifts. Two different shopping centres. Every single lift in each one of them. Plus the fountain clock thing in the other one that we'll go to last. I suspect we'll have time to kill when we go back to the train station. There's always the chance though, that everywhere's so busy and he wants to do it each bit for so long that we might be rushing a bit towards the end. Right, this first shopping centre, I don't think I've ever been in it without being asked to stop filming. So in the interests of hiding and hoping they don't notice Andy's filming too. I'm gonna to keep my camera away while we're in here to try and avoid drawing attention to ourselves. So if you wanna see these lifts, the only place you can see that is on Andy's channel. Link is down in the description. Every time we go in that shopping center now, cause they're rebuilding it, it looks more and more deserted and feels more and more abandoned. But we're done in there. We rode up and down in about four or five lifts in there. There were several of them that were out of commission or in areas that are now closed down, which he wasn't best pleased about. But we are now heading over to the other shopping centre. We've still got loads of time to do all the lifts in there. The Emma Clock movie. And the Emma Clock. The movie. Yes. <laughs> Emma Clock movie. Okay. We're taking a slight detour on the way to the next shopping centre. changed his plan in the second shopping centre. He did one lift, but now can't contain his excitement any longer. We're going straight to the clock, and then he's gonna come back and do the lifts afterwards. The clock is the main event. started just as we walked over he ran the rest of the way we will have to still wait for the next one so he can film every moment of it it is the Emmett Clock movie yeah that's what he calls it very happy now well it shows what I know I'd budgeted like an hour for that clock because that's how long we took with it last time it started as we walked towards it we watched it do its thing the moment it stopped camera off walked away didn't even have time to get my Instagram story up to date I mean, talk about first world problems. I have an out of date Instagram story. Well, I've been asked to stop filming in a lot of places over the years, especially recently. 
but credit where it's due, in the Victoria Centre, the security guy in there, what a gentleman, he was very polite, very respectful, told me what, yes you did the Emmett Clark movie in there, yeah, told me what I would need to do in future, yes the Emmett Clark movie and it smells, that's right, told me what to do in future, to be given permission to film in there, and apparently it's just as simple as going to the information centre and asking, so I know for next time, if that's the case in all these places, if only everyone was as much of a gent as that guy, then I wouldn't be getting told off all the time. We do have one slight problem, because he was so quick in there, we've now got an hour and a half to kill before our train home. We could get an earlier train, but the problem then is we're back in Peter an hour early, which means we're an hour early for Anna, so we have to wait around there, or go home and then come straight back out again. The only logical thing to do is kill the time. The only way we can kill the time, the only thing he agreed to was to go on the wheel. So, we're now making our way back into the centre of Nottingham and we're going to go on the Nottingham Eye and I'm going to be terrified. Oh. Is it too late to have second thoughts? Did I ever mention I'm afraid of heights? That's why I don't like the cable cars in London. Or didn't, didn't like the cable cars in London. I'm fine with them these days. I'm hoping I'll very quickly get fine with this too. Can you hear the bells? Yeah. Okay, this isn't so bad. Oh, that's on. <laughs> I don't know what time it is. Oh, it's two o'clock. You relaxing? Yeah. You're good. There are some pretty cool views from up here. I just wish my hands weren't so sweaty that I could hold the camera and show them to you. My, my heart rate at the moment is 100 and... that can't be right. 116 beats a minute. I thought it said 132. 116 beats a minute. We're not even at the top yet. That's why it keeps stopping that it gets me. Are you having fun? Yeah. Is it really good? My mouth stopped. Excellent. Rocking back and forth at the top, and we're up to 121 beats a minute. This close to hitting the emergency button, which all it will do is means I can get off at the bottom, which I'm pretty sure we do anyway. The emergency button is a lie. I don't mind it at this height. We're like the height of a normal big wheel, and I'm completely comfortable. It's just when we're at the top and it's shaking, it's horrible. We've just gone around stopping to let everybody on. I think we now get an uninterrupted go around, which hopefully should lead to less shaking at the top. I can't go through the shaking at the top again. So, I'd love to show you what's behind me properly, but I'm not gonna turn around and Do drop, not the, drop, drop the thing. No, don't drop anything. Um, so I'm just gonna hold the camera up and if you can see things behind me, you get, you get some hero points. I ain't turning around or moving. He's doing enough of that for both of us. <laughs> well, I'm not sure I can think of a worse way to spend 12 quid. Good. No! <laughs> Did you enjoy it? Good eye. Did you enjoy it? More on day. Was it good, Andy? More on day. You can go more on another day with Mummy. Yeah, I won't be going on that thing ever again. We're going for a coffee now. I need to I need to calm down. Yeah, we're gonna get a coffee, then we're gonna go back on the tram, then we're gonna go on the train, then we're gonna get money. Sorted. Well, I think we can declare mission accomplished. I've officially tied him out. Our train home's in about an hour. I have my coffee to tide me over until then. My heart rate is slowly lowering back down to a normal human's level. <laughs> He's absolutely ready to go home at this point. He didn't want to queue in Starbucks. He didn't want to wait for the coffee once I'd ordered. He doesn't want to wait for the tram now. He doesn't want to wait for the train. We've got an hour of waiting to do now when his patience is stretched. So although I've achieved the goal of the day, which was to tire him out so he gets a proper night's sleep and does lots of fun stuff that he enjoys, the next hour could be testing. Well, we found a bench in the station. He's not very happy about having to wait. Every time they announce a train over the tannoy that's not ours, he shouts no. But we've gone through almost half of it now. It's nearly three o'clock. 
our train leaves here just after half past three and I know it has carriages that decouple at that point so I guess it gets here a little bit earlier and we can probably get on. He is absolutely exhausted. He's not usually out and about and on his feet this long. We left the house just after eight this morning to drop Anna off at uni and we've been on the go ever since. That is a long, long day for Andy. Something we need to bear in mind when it comes to going to Disney in May because this has been, what, seven, seven-ish hours on the go and he's pretty much maxed out and just wants to go home and rest. So we're going to have to take that into account for other stuff later in the year. And we're nearly back. Andy's been commentating on the way home as we pass all the landmarks that he recognises again. So we should just be coming in to the centre of Peter. We went past the gym a minute ago, which reminds me, I've not been there this week, but I couldn't be there this week because I've been on looking after Andy duty. We're back on that again next week properly. But we're just about back. We've got to get Anna in about 20 minutes, so we've got just enough time to go up a lift, cross a bridge, down a lift, yeah, and then fall for around his eyes, and then head over, pick up Anna, and we're done. Have you had a good day? Yeah, we're one video, yeah. Yes, it'll be one video, don't worry. Fall around his eyes on YouTube. Yes, and we're back, and got off the train, exactly next to the lift. Couldn't be more perfect than that. The train's still there, and we're already in the lift on our way up, heading back towards the car. And we've pulled back into the car park of Anna's Uni at 4.59. That is what I call a perfectly planned day out. If it hadn't been for the fact that it's been all over social media and we've vlogged it, she never even needed to know we've gone. We've snuck off to a faraway land, had an exotic adventure, and we're back perfectly in time to pick her up. I think that is a good cue to end today's vlog. So if you have enjoyed it, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for us. Subscribe to the channel for more daily vlogs, including the return to Crowland Abbey tomorrow, the Birmingham trip on Saturday and Sunday. Lots of exciting stuff to come. Thank you very much for watching.